What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are up at our Orange County yard and if you could not tell by now the building that we have here is expanding. That is why we are setting forms and we are pulling all of this dirt out of here. We have our excavator here. If you follow me for construction reasons, I think most people on my channel are here because of the snow removal, but I definitely gained a decent amount of followers this summer, but we do a lot of snow removal and this building is where we store all of our trucks. We have this building year round, but we plow the roads in this village here. So right now the building looks a little bit different with the trucks that are in it. A couple of these trucks, uh, actually all of these trucks work up here, I believe. Let's see what's in the front corner here. Yep, all of these trucks, right? Yep, all of these trucks work in this village here. We do have a few other trucks parked outside that do not plow here, but basically this is the highway garage for this village. The guys that do all of the potholes and road repairs, sewer lines, all that stuff, they have all their trucks out in the parking lot here. If you've seen any of my videos from this yard in the past, it obviously looks much different. These guys are putting a ton of work in here clearing up the entire lot, making it much nicer. The driveway now, obviously it can't go that way because the building's going there. The driveway is now over on this side. So I'll try and find a clip of what this yard looked like before all this work was done. But anyway, the building is getting basically tripled in size. I believe this is a 60 by 40 building and we are adding 60 by 80 out into the side yard here. So we have quite a bit of work here and luckily, luckily we are able to do the build ourselves. So it's pretty simple for us. This is what we do year round. Obviously we do a lot of snow removal as well. But this morning I picked up a bunch of lumber from the lumber yard for all of these footing forms. We started getting them set. We pulled all the dirt off of the building rather than doing a horseshoe footing all the way around. We are doing a full square. We're gonna pour another footing along the side of this building all the way down. But right now I need to hop in our loader and get all of this dirt out of here.
All right, guys, we got all of the dirt cleaned up except for a little bit along the building. I didn't want to get too close with the machine and accidentally hit it, but it is much better than where we were at the beginning of the day. I'll show you from down in the form. You can see the dirt we'll have to clean out because there's a form going right up against the building there. So it's not terrible, but a little bit of manual labor with some shovels and that'll all be clear. We have the forms all the way to that corner plus one set of boards coming out of it. So before I mentioned that this building was uh, 60 by 80, it's actually 60 by 60. Our building, our current building is 60 by 40 and we're getting another 60 by 40 out of this new building. So we'll have 60 by 80 total and then the last 20 by 60 is going to the other guys so there will be a bay down on the end just for them and 40 feet of it this way is going to be part of our building now so it's going to be very nice once this is done tomorrow we will have a full crew here working on this i will not be here me my father my brother and my cousin are playing in a golf outing my cousin let me get this set up my cousin asked us to play in uh, a local golf outing with him so we're doing that tomorrow but if that gets done early i might swing up here and check on it if not i'm gonna run to our shop and finish up the video that i started yesterday if you guys are wondering why that video is kind of pieced together it's because i'm not there today like i mentioned i would be i don't know if that video is coming out before this one or after this one but Either way, it's the one where I'm working on the fenders for that new loader. Fun fact, Cat wants $1,100 for the two brackets that hold the front fenders on. So obviously, we're not doing that. I got to talk with Rodrigo. I left him there when I left yesterday. He was going to try and pull out the broken bolts that are in that tube. I don't know if he did or if he didn't. If he did, then we'll be smooth sailing once I get down there. I'll just have to pull all of the uh, mud flaps and the plastic fender extensions off and should be good to go but either way you will find out in the next video where i end up so that's going to wrap it up for this one if you guys have any questions or comments definitely leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys next time peace